Hey everyone, you may be asking, where's the show? Well, YouTube does not like us that much. We only post the wacky news stories here, things that are less controversial. If you want all the other topics, and I think you know what I'm talking about, you have to listen to those on other platforms. We still stream live. We stream live on Twitch, float.app, and DLive. And those are at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday and then 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. As always, you can download the audio-only podcast for free. You can check the description in this video or go to obdmpod.com. The shows march on. We haven't stopped. It's just we have stopped uploading full shows and streaming to YouTube. Thanks. And here's another wacky news segment. Up on screen here, lawsuit over Subway tuna now claims chicken, pork, cattle DNA is detected. That's some good news on that front. No, no oh, wow. It's the other way, uh, Alex. This is weird. Okay. But this is a fault. You remember about a year ago, we talked about um, uh, people suing Subway uh, because they didn't actually have tuna in their tuna sandwich. Yes, but also in a similar lawsuit, I believe they were being sued in Ireland or the UK. Because it was in of Ireland over bread. Yeah, bread. There was some sort of dispute that their bread wasn't all that bready or something like that. And I think I think it was an EU thing having to do with how they classify bread and the taxes paid on it or something. But yeah, they yeah, apparently, it was, yeah. Subway plays fast and loose with ingredients. Apparently, they certainly do. Well, a new version of a lawsuit accusing Subway of deceiving the public about its tuna prod, uh, products said lab testing shows they contain animal proteins such as chicken, pork, and cattle, and not as advertised, 100% tuna. Well, this is very concerning, but what if they're actually just capturing some sort of hybrid tuna out there that is actually part pork uh, and uh, cow? What if they're doing farm-grown tuna and they're feeding the tuna chicken, pork, and, and beef? That is changing the DNA. You may have already surrendered your DNA by spitting in a tube. That is possible. Well, only somebody knows. But uh, Karen Donawal and Namima Amin filed their third version of their proposed class action lawsuit this week in the federal court in San Francisco near their homes. Subway said in a statement uh, it will seek to dismiss the reckless and improper lawsuit. The chain said the plaintiffs have filed three meritless complaints, changing their story each time, and that its high-quality, wild-caught, 100% tuna was regulated strictly in the United States and around the world. I guess I would like to see a definition as what is considered 100% tuna. Is it really only 2% tuna? Two? Maybe even four. Maybe four? Uh, the recent test showed it was up to 5.6%. Oh, come on. Don't believe the 56 The original complaint claimed that Subway tuna salad sandwiches and wraps were uh, bereft of tuna, while an amended complaint said there they were not 100% sustainably caught skipjack and yellowfin tuna. So maybe that's that's the, the crux of the complaint, that it is not 100% of a particular type of tuna are these are the, are these people just a bunch of busybodies looking to sue subway over some like technicality on the kind of tuna yeah bake me a cake <laughs> could Please. be it's hard to say mm. let's see here so uh u.s district judge john tiger dismissed the second version last month saying planets did not show they bought subway tuna based on alleged m misrepresentations okay he he did not rule on the merits and gave the planets another chance to make their case he basically told them go back out go to subway buy some more tuna under the premise that you're expecting skipjack or yellowfin tuna then refile your lawsuit and while you're there uh get me get me a spicy italian and a fresh meatball marinara bring that back to i do like a nice meatball uh sub not going to lie about that. Foot long, unwhole wheat, cut it in four pieces, no mustard. <laughs> I like uh, the, the foot long marinara meatball with a little provolone cheese. 
I don't want any condiments. I don't want any toppings. I just want that delicious Subway bread and the spicy meatballs that we all come to love and enjoy from Subway. Balls. The bread that has fiberglass on it, I think it was. Rumored, Joe. It's only a rumor. It's unsubstantiated. <laughs> so uh, what do you call an open can of tuna in a lesbian's house? Uh, what? Refreshner? Potpourri, yeah. How could you right. have done this? Joke jam. What'd you do? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, this is quite a lengthy article. So they're, 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 going, to, they're going to court with this. So. Uh, it said 19 samples had detected no tuna DNA sequence, while all 20 contained detectable chicken DNA, 11 contained pork DNA, and 7 contained cattle DNA. It's not, so they, what they have is a tuna slurry where they dump just different components, which probably looks and smells like tuna, but it just comprised of a bunch of different animals you probably already know and love to eat all the time. So what's the big deal? Yeah. That's like uh, when they were claiming that it was meat slurry, I think, for McDonald's. And oh, that. yeah, the pink slime. Pink yeah, the slime. pink slime. And the, it, it's another one of those media things where it's like you could see the videos of them with it. And no, that's not what they have. Well, you remember, like, everyone was outraged when they found out that chicken nuggets were probably made of pink slime, some kind of, like, chicken slurry. And uh, then chicken there, bits, yeah. Chicken bits. And then I think they pulled it away. But then I think people really missed their chicken nuggets. And mm -hmm. so they just they brought it back. No one cares. People are still eating pink slime. Yeah. It's like well, the, chicken the, heads and feet and shit. The pink, the pink slime was um, uh, their, their hamburger. Um, so instead of it being... Freshly ground hamburger. It was it was the slurry that made a certain consistency and easier to process hamburger. But yeah, the, the chicken nuggets was a different one because they were made from chicken bits and pieces and parts and whatever else they found on the ground. And you're right, they changed it to they had a whole line of like the you know the real pieces of chicken and people were like we like the other one better. It's delicious. I I need my pink slime. I have to do it. And for people who are on the stream, you can see a nice. Beautiful picture of what looks completely delicious. Uh, Milkshake. Yeah, he, he did post up uh, a, a photo of pink slime that will be turned into nuggets. Look at it's, that greasy lawyer. It looks, it looks a little bit like a, like a soft stool, but it's pink. And, and Cratchit just posted a picture of Ronald McDonald uh, vomiting up what looks to be pink slime into a cardboard box, which we hope will be later used to produce McDonald's chicken nuggets. Look at that face. All right. Oh, here's a, here's one. That's, this is a real one in a factory, which is just revolting to, to, to look at here. Look at this one. It's just pink slime in, uh, it looks to be, I would say, a 200-gallon bucket. 200 I, I, gallons of, of nuggets. I like, how, I like how they have a pink slime can in there. And look how thick that is. <laughs> it's like four inches thick. I, I would say that's a pretty good guess. I would say. God. Yeah. I would say that's a good guess. All right. Uh, well, I mean, we love our fast food. Uh, look, here, news. Here's, your, here's your picture of your nuggets. These are the, the processed chicken slime nuggets. There you go. That's what they. Okay. Eat. Let's take a look at the nuggets right here. Okay. Uh, that's that. This is the nuggets before they're breaded. I'm assuming. Right, but you can just see how they're they they make them out of this. Actually, you know, if you let me do this, I'll, I'll switch over to this GIF. You can run this if you make the image. Yeah, I, I I have embiggened it. There you go. Uh, so here is a GIF of it being processed and them creating um, uh, nuggets. I'm trying to run. I I have Discord like active, and the GIF is not the GIF is not running for me. Rut row. Hold on a second here. Then let's All try right. this. Did, did that embed properly? There now we it go. Is embedded okay. Properly. There we go. Wow. Okay. So this is how the the chicken nuggets are made. This is how it, nature makes chicken nuggets. Ah. Okay. Well, looks any looks looks good. Uh, I'd still eat them every now like <laughs> once a year. I go to McDonald's. McDonald's. I get like a twenty piece nugget. I get a super sized fry and a milkshake, and I'm ready to go. You eat that directly in the bathroom, or do you do you sit in the restaurant for a little bit? I. I, so I go to the drive-thru, I get my 20-piece, I get my... <laughs> and you drive really my, fast. And no, no, then I pull over immediately in the parking lot, I take off my shirt, and I start pounding <laughs> McDonald's. That's called the maneuver. Take my shirt off. 
That was actually popularized by uh, uh, Washington, D.C. DJ Chad Dukes. And that, that's called the maneuver, according to him. And I completely agree. <laughs> that's what you do. Shirt off in the parking lot. In the parking lot of the very place you just bought your drive through fast food at. Gotcha. Yeah. You got to warn people. Yeah, I would warn people before you do that, especially if they're in the car with you. <laughs> yeah. So, hold on, folks. I'm going to make a quick stop. Sir, this is an Uber. Are you not taking me home? Nope. Hold on. I do have some audio of me uh, 30 seconds after doing that. It's, it's <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's from Dumb and Dumber. Sorry. I don't like to, I terrible. really don't often like to play poop or fart sound effects. It's just, I had that at the ready because we were talking about Joe Biden. And since it's like current events, I can't escape it. Come on, man. So. All right. Uh, another news story there, Cratchit? I uh, don't want to talk about toilets anymore. Uh, uh, that's not really. I mean, it's okay. Let's get out of the we toilet. Got any, we got do any want, toilet do, news? I don't have any toilet news. Do you want to stay on food news or do you want uh, something completely different? Something different. Let's, this is busted up. Let me cleanse okay. the palate here. Awesome. All right. So this one is completely unrelated. Okay. Oh, yes, this is a good one. Let's see. Woman climbs. So woman climbs Brock's Sioux barrier, tells Lion she loves him while throwing $100 bills at them. Make it a fucking rain. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. Well, this is concerning, isn't it? I would say so. So donning a red dress with a leopard print scarf, and holding roses, a woman climbed over a barrier near the lion's exhibit and yelled to the lion, King, I love you. I oh, came King, back for you. you. There's, there a, a, there, there's, uh, uh, there's audio, but it's just of them talking over it, so you don't have to actually. Oh, okay. That. Sorry. There is a. She began throwing $100 bills towards the lion, who st is, who's, was still separated from her by a moat. But she was gone by the time the zoo staff arrived. Maybe the uh, the the line was just overwhelmed and didn't really understand like how much money you know didn't understand the the, the denomination of the bills. She probably thought, oh, I see a one. It's just a one buck. I'm not going to bother. But it turned out yeah. to be a hundred. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Lines got a you know they got bills to pay too. Let's well, could, could this be some sort of weird? Prostitution ring sort of 634 thing. right now and to a news floor exclusive. There's a news floor exclusive, uh, which I will play. So I will put this. Uh, this is a news floor exclusive. And I don't think. Well, and maybe. Yes, it is. Okay, you're good. Sorry. The news Please. floor exclusive is going to talk all about this and maybe they'll have uh, more details. I can only hope. But probably not. Now they might. Exclusive. A woman caught on camera. Jumping the barrier at the Bronx Zoo lion exhibit, and it seems this may not have been the first time she did it. Jay New York's Jessica Cunnington is outside the zoo with more on what happened. And Jessica, how zoo officials are reacting to all this. Yeah, well, a lot of people having deja vu over this, including the Bronx Zoo, who wants this woman charged with criminal trespassing after they say she crossed over the public barrier yesterday afternoon uh, right near the lion's exhibit. And we have exclusive video of what she was doing once she got over that barrier. So take a look right here. This is the woman. You see her all dressed up. She has roses in her hand. And we spoke with the woman whose husband shot this video, and they tell Tell us that this woman kind of kept repeating things to the lion, saying things like, I missed you, I came back for you, I love you. This I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Now, we also know <laughs> right now that this, this, <laughs> this did happen before. If you're thinking, wait, this happened again? Yeah, the first time this happened was in 2019. And we're oh, showing no. a video now of that incident. This is Maya Austin. Oh, she's making it rain. Look at it right there. Yeah, she's making it rain. The same woman involved in the incident yesterday. Yesterday, but this was her back in 2019. She Wait, are these different people? In front of the lions, taunting them. Yeah, she they was are charged with criminal trespassing in that incident. But the fact that she or someone else just easily got over the barrier again is. Wait a second. I, so one of the women looks like a black woman. The other one looks like uh, a white woman. But maybe I, I missing something here. Kind of concerning. 
watch. I can't believe she did it again, or if it is even her, but it's, it's uh, I don't know what's, what, what, what's going through people's minds. They definitely need better security, because if she's able to do that a second time, there's no telling what will happen the third time. She might not be as, she might not, might not be as lucky. Seems to me the problem will solve itself. Just let her keep yeah, doing so it. Yeah, so this might be the same woman, but obviously the concern here, and you can hear it from those people, is should there be better security surrounding the animal exhibits inside the Bronx Zoo? That is what is unclear, is if the zoo would be making uh, any changes in Call terms in the of National their Guard. security surrounding this after, again, two times in two years, someone getting over that barrier right near the lion's exhibit. Outside the Bronx Zoo this morning, I'm Jessica Cunnington. Back to you. We're just no pants we could just be naked all day <laughs> i i mean i kind of i kind of agree with Chris. i mean i totally agree with Chris. accused of raping a woman oh, oh that's, uh -oh, a, that's a very <laughs> dark story but <laughs> i i agree with cretchen it's like this woman looks very shapely she would be a very good meal yeah. and she's donating hundreds of dollars to the zoo they would save money on feeding that lion for yeah, probably I, a I week we or two to, we need to make sure that money goes to the lion exhibit not to like the 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 lunch fund for those zoo workers that should be spent for the lions that's what it's for yeah i, I think yeah. it's a win-win yeah, and He's just let her keep let her keep doing it eventually the lions will eat her and you know hey extra meal and uh we can save on feeding costs and uh also uh she doesn't do it again so what happened to the hundred dollar bills did the zoo keep that or did the lion spend it <laughs> I, I, this is a serious question because you mean, you mean like in the jail canteen they they save up money and then they get to go buy a pack of smokes something and let's, let's let's get real she had to go to the bank or an atm just to get this to happen yeah she had to like now whether or not those are real a hundred dollar bills if they were real then that's a whole another issue this is a whole another level of sickness uh, if they were fake, then there's some, some you're, you're passing around, you're trying to pay for lap dances from a lion We're using counterfeit money, which is also, I'm, I'm sure the, the treasury uh, would get involved in that. So Yeah. Well, the treasury's also been making fake money for years anyway. Oh, bingo. There we go. I'll give you a... <laughs> Hello! Thanks, Robin Williams. Ah, oh, boy. Well, that was an interesting story. Very disturbing. Uh, are the police on, on this? Are they involved? <laughs> Yeah, they got the, added two more detectives to the case. They got to work in shifts. Do 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 the zoo have their own like internal police department, like the library does, with like Bookman, like in Seinfeld, <laughs> like the zoo police? Yeah, Maybe it's, it, they they call it the zoo Billy zoo police. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it raises questions. I mean, we had the the Capitol Police put in a, uh, to to get made into a, a different type of federal agency so they could have. Um, operations around the country so maybe the bronx zoo needs to do the same thing so they can be federalized and open up like a bronx zoo police division office in seattle or in san diego or somewhere just to make sure they're on top of any potential bronx zoo related criminality the zbi the zoo bureau of investigations i'm part of the zbi give us an email yes. at our big dumb mouth at gmail.com Check out obdmpod.com for other social media and donation links. Be a part of the magic.